Muy buenas, we're Marco and Alex of Agri Brothers, and right now we are in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I've never been here before. Mark came here five years ago. So today, he's gonna be my tour guide, and we're taking you with us. Let's go. Vamanos. <laughs> Airbnb. Okay, so we're staying in San Telmo. This is our Airbnb. Paying 45 bucks a night. Looks pretty cool. It's a big old warehouse. I don't think it's a warehouse. It has character. We just don't know exactly what the character is. But the thing is this, like this area would have been near the original port and they would have been bringing beef in here to ship out. So you're saying that our bedroom is a beef hanger? Yeah, maybe it was a meat locker. Um, San Telmo is basically the oldest part of the city. This is where I lived five years ago. I was here writing a guidebook. I have some friends here. We're gonna meet up with some of my buddies from living here before. We're gonna meet up with the guys from Locos por el Asado, who is an Argentinian cooking channel. Uh, they're gonna take us out to lunch. But first, we're gonna head into the Bohemian district of San Telmo and get a coffee. But first, coffee. I love these old Buenos Aires apartments. Oh, here's a map. We're staying basically in this area, San Telmo. The plan is to go to the old part, then maybe to La Boca, El Retiro, Recoleta. We're basically going to be in this area right here. Let's go. Well, we've only been walking around for about 10 or 15 minutes, but right off the bat, I feel Spanish vibes. I kind of feel like I'm in Barcelona. Yeah. And it's funny, because we just saw this like really pretty building back here with the Arabic influence, and then even had a Catalan flag on it. Some of the nicest buildings here were built during this period, 1900s, early 1900s, when Barcelona was growing up with Gaudi and the Art Deco, Art Nouveau. So it's definitely got that same vibe. And the name actually comes from Catalan as well because there were Catalan uh, soldiers who settled in Sardinia. And Buenos Aires is a Sardinian saint, saint of good air. And when they came here, they are like, good air, let's name the city after it. Good winds. I don't know if the good winds are still around, <laughs> but it's a pretty city. All right, so first stop of the day is Cafe La Poesia. Poesia. It's I'm not sorry. Poesia. What is no, it? Poesia. It's basically like a cool example of like the bohemian vibe of San Telmo. This is like a really artistic city. It blends like a lot of different elements of Europe. Like the buildings look French. They speak Spanish, but with like a Napoli accent from Italy. But it's a cool place, it's got great ambiance. I wrote basically half the guidebook in this spot back in the day. We have ordered two cafes con leche, a media luna, and an alfajor. Alfajor. Which is kind of like, it's dulce, dulce de, de leche. leche. Dulce de leche is really typical in Argentina, and these would be like the most typical two things you have for breakfast. Both of them are very sweet. Lots of sugar. About a baker's dozen. Pagado? Listo? Vamos. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so now we're walking down this street called Calle Defensa, and I just saw this little plaque over there that explains something pretty amazing. I had no idea that Buenos Aires and that Argentina was invaded by the British, but according to that plaque, so there were two invasions, one in 1806 and one in 1807. Right. And this street was renamed Calle Defensa because it was where they made the defense. Like a little history, this was like a super strategic place because Buenos Aires is basically a port, which is right here on the River Plate, the River of Silver. And it was basically the way that they would connect all the gold shipments coming from the Americas and the Andes would come over through Mendoza to here and then off to uh, Spain. Wow, 
why have we stopped here? Okay, so this is the house I lived in when I was in Buenos Aires. I lived with this crazy cool artist guy named Gonzalo, and I had many good times here. So hopefully we see Gonzalo later today, but for now, we're gonna meet up with Laucha from Locos por el Estado, a local YouTube channel. I think this is him right there. How are you? How are you? Hey man, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Hey, not bad either. <laughs> okay guys, well, Laucha here is from Buenos Aires. Yeah. And he has an awesome YouTube channel called Locos por el Asado, which is all about Argentine meat. So you're going to show us a nice little parrilla, right? We're going to get yeah. some lunch. I'll take you to the, one of the best parrillas here in San Telmo. We will see, we will show you a lot, not only meat, but also intestines and things we love to eat here in every asado. Yeah. So, let's go. <laughs> Game plan. Right now we're heading down Calle Bolivar and we're going to go get lunch at a Parilla. So Parillas are like where they do these big barbecues, they do the Argentine asado. Basically, we're in for a lot of meat, and Laucha here is the meat master, so I think it's gonna be good. Stick around. <laughs> Salud. Salud. Hope you enjoy the asado. <laughs> And the beer, not bad. For starting, we have small intestine. That's called chinchulin. That is crazy. It's really, really nice. Then we have a little bit of kidney. We have the mosheja. That is called sweet bread. The sweet breads and the chorizo and the black sausage. We call them here the marriage, the matrimonio. And obviously, criolla and chimichurri. It's not like meat meat. These are kind of like organs. So yeah, we're gonna eat them and they smell really good. One of the best and cheapest street meats in Buenos Aires is the choripan, chorizo and pan, bread. Chimichurri sauce on that and boom. Mm. Which one is it? This part. Oh, wow. This one with the ribs are the most common cuts you can find here in Argentina. The vacío and the costilla, or asado. Oh my god, so good. How does everyone stay so skinny in this country? I see like <laughs> really, really beautiful skinny girls eating meat and then going to bed every single night. We drink a lot. That's why. <laughs> we drink a lot. That's why we eat less. Ciao, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gracias, Laucho. Okay, Hasta man. luego. Hasta luego. Later. Ese mercado is increíble. This is hipster heaven. There are so many like vintage, vintage everything in here. Really, it's beautiful. It's just a city of old school glory, and that's what hipsters strive to achieve: is that old school glory. Look at my hat. See me doing tango here. Dun, 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 dun. That was a nice distraction. Girls here are super beautiful. I mean, it's like the Italian influence, Spanish together. We're happy campers. Una pena mezcla. Una corazón para ti. Well, interesting little fact that's happening now. Uber actually opened here two days ago, and much to the regret of the local taxi drivers, um, it's definitely divisive, but we're pro Uber, and we just ordered one. That's how we're getting to our next destination, La Boca. I'd say pro Uber with many caveats. I like Uber in general, but they've done some shady things to get where they are. Anyways, we're gonna test it out and see what it's like. Okay, next stop in today's exploration of Buenos Aires is El Caminito. Yes. Right now we are in La Boca. La Boca is called this because it's like the mouth of the river. And this was like where the old port was. There's a lot of these like tin 
houses like this, and El Caminito is one of the most colorful streets in the city. So this is like a, an area really associated with tango. It's kind of inspired by the immigrants who came here and they were really longing for something that they lost back in the home country. They were really sad songs. This painting here of a family of immigrants. Could you imagine this guy catching you dancing tango with his daughter? He's got a rifle in his hand, I don't think he'd be too happy. It's not only a lot of people don't realize that Argentina was one of the biggest recipients of immigrants from Europe in the late 1800s. For a lot of people from the south of Europe, like Italy, you know, a lot went to New York, but a lot came here as well. And so this neighborhood, especially, has a really strong Italian influence. So we just got freshened up uh, back in the apartment in San Telmo, and now we're gonna go up to Recoleta to meet up with one of our buddies. Time to party! Peace!